بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد What is the ruling regarding using needles for medication during the holy month of Ramadan as we've entered the holy month of Ramadan so we need to be aware of some of these new issues which have uh, befallen us or new issues that we deal with in this time regarding medication and so forth so what is the ruling regarding medication that is given through needles and the scholars they divide it into two types basically that there is the Ibra ilajia ghayr al mughaddi wa ibra waridida waridia al mughaddiya that this issue is divided into two using a needle for medication that is not used for food and the other issue is using a needle that goes into the vein which is uh, providing sustenance for nutrition or food so the first one the first issue meaning that if a person needs to use a needle as medication that is not for food it is not a type of food or for nutrition using this which is not used for uh, food does not break your fast so using this needle a needle uh, that you you get which is not food does not contain a food nutritional substance does not break your fast regardless of whether this needle is placed in your muscle or it is placed in your vein or under your skin and this is the in accordance with the this opinion this view is the of our modern day scholars like bin Baz rahimullah ta'ala bin Uthaymeen rahimullah ta'ala and other than them it is also in accordance with the mujamma fiqih which is the a large body of scholars that have uh, from various countries who have produced a very important book of fiqh which deals with especially a lot of the modern day fiqh issues that we have to deal with and they issue fatawa in this regards also the lejna adaim which is the committee of the major scholars in Saudi Arabia who issue fatawa they also have this view and also the committee uh, for issuing fatawa in Kuwait the this is also one of their fatawa and this is because they go back to a, a very important fic principle that the asal as siha asom al as al asal siha to som had to yukum dalil ala fasadi that a very important fiqh principle which is that the asal of something the the origin of something ala ma kana ilay or that the origin of something is that something stays in its same state or its origin unless the 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 unless something comes to change it the asl baqa ala ma kana ala ma kan so the origin of something is that it stays in its original state and so because the original state of the fasting the asal is a sihah to som 
the origin of your fast is that it's a sound fast. If you followed the Sharia, the basic Sharia principles, you began your fast during the proper time, um, and you avoided those things, those muhar, those uh, things that are muharramat that break your fast. Then the origin of your fast is is on what it's upon. It's it stays in its original state that you have not broken your fast, and so this is the reason why those ulama issued this fatwa because the asl, as long as there's not evidence to suggest that you have broken your fast, then your fast is sound. And in addition to that, it's also because the using this needle, these needles for other than nutrition or food do not, it do not, are not considered food nor are they considered uh, liquid that you intake as far as like juice or, or water or milk or what have you. And they do, and it is not considered what it, it is not considered as food or drink. So it does not take the ruling of food or drink in breaking with regards to your fast. The second uh, issue at hand is regards the is regards to the the ibra or the needle which is taken into the vein which is a uh, is taken as food. And when you have to do that, this breaks your fast. And this is also in accordance with the view of Bin Baz and Bin Uthimeen and the Mujamma Fiqi and the Lejna Daim, which is the major the committee of the major scholars who issue fatawa in Saudi Arabia. And this is because this is, it is the Ma'ana Akl wa Sharb that implicit in the name, even in Arabic, they say Al-Ibra Waridiya Al-Mughaddiya. Al-Mughaddi, referring to that it is something that you take for food. So even implicit, or what what is implicit in the name itself, is that it's a type of food sustenance that you take, that you intake, and... Uh, of course, since it takes the meaning of eating and drink, sustenance that we take to eat and drink, then this is, it takes the hukum, it takes the ruling. And this is important fatawa for us to keep in mind, as many of us are tested with various illnesses and ailments, so we should know the ruling which is relevant for us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with amn nafi, ruskan tayyib, wa amn al-mutakabbilin. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting and may Allah forgive us of our sins and help us to go forward and be better slaves of His subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to spread khair. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.